Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to the first video on this new Airsoft channel. Uh, I, this is, video is more or less just an introduction to what this channel will be. I'm not going to take this video too seriously. It's the same for the rest of the channel. Um, I'm not a real serious person. And I want to keep it that way. Uh, so, number one disclaimer, this is not a mil sim loadout. This is just a uh, NATO Marine loadout that I put together on Evike. So, none of this is real Marpat. None of this is, you know, the Epic 69420 up to date. You know, there's a thing in your kit that's wrong. I'm not like that. I'm not, you know, it's none of this is real Marpat. But let's just get right into it. So, this is a DEF CON uh, JPC plate carrier. I am, I have this thing I got in Cali. Because this is the, uh, the capital of Airsoft, pretty much, is in California. So I was like, hey, pick this up, put it on my plate carrier, and I do whatever I want with that. So these are just some regular Condor mag pouches. Alright, move that out of the way. So basically, these, I, I took the string off because I thought it would be super operator of me. But what ended up happening was the mags just kept falling out. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to just throw these away. There has to be a quick fix. So I looked it up, it was like, I found this video by Recon Brothers, I'm pretty, yeah, it's Recon Brothers, and they made a video for single mag pouches about how to use these little straps for tension. So, because there's no videos for double mag pouches, I'm probably going to make my own, but I had to, like, wing it, so I had to just, you know, do what works, and it ended up working really well, a lot better than I expected. So I took it around the side, and I knotted it off here, so it holds tension very, very well. Uh, none of my mags fall anymore, and they they work really good. Uh, yeah. So on the right side of my JPC, I'm running nothing. I probably will get something here, but uh, I don't want anything to get in the way of like my holster or anything. Because I used to have my holster up here, but now it's drop leg. Because I switched it up. Because I I hate having to reach all the way back there, but I want to put something there. Because I hate getting shot in the ribs with BBs. Uh, on the left side. I have Condor pistol mag pouches for my Elite Force 1911. Uh, another great gun. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's switch over to this now. This is a shower bag I got at McDill Air Force Base. Shopping for some stuff for the airsoft loadout. And basically what I hold in here is lube, uh, screwdrivers, basically uh, box mags. Anything I want to take onto the field, uh, I can take this onto the field or I can leave it on the bench. Uh, usually I leave it on the bench. I have taken it on the field though. You know, to give extra mags to friends who need them and whatnot. And you can put it on the ground and kind of use it as, like, more cover. So, I mean, it, it works good. Uh, definitely recommend it. I don't even know who makes this. But uh, if you're at McDill and you need one of these, go ahead and grab one. Uh, next, my pants. So, I have mixed reviews on these. These are the Rothko, um, Rothko uh, Desert Digital Large. So, these are pretty nice. I mean, they're nice pants. The waist is big, and the, the length is perfect, uh, but just use a belt and you'll be fine. But they do not match Marpat. This is not Marpat, but this is pr as close as you can get without getting like a, a copyright notice, because they have it patented. Uh, this It's a lot tanner, like it's like whited out, and there isn't three colors. Like, so you see on this one, there's a bunch of different colors mixed up in there. This one is just, like large spots, but there's only like, like these colors are a bit different. But they do not look anywhere near this level of just, you know, uh, complexity. You know what I mean? They're very flat. It looks like something you get like a kid's party or whatever. But it is still very nice. They're very comfortable. Uh, they work, and they have this mag pouch right here in the front. I carry an extra mag in there, and it works fine. And it's never falling out, surprisingly. Uh, so overall, they're great pants. But color-wise, if you're going for, like, a Marine Corps or Marpat loadout, definitely... Uh, you know, you might want to find a different color. Unless you like this color. If you like the color, it's all up to you. Pretty sure it's ACU pattern, but in, like, Desert Digital. Don't quote me on that. Do not do not make me, a, you know, mean for that. But, yeah, these are pretty nice. Okay, next I have the belt. So I can move this out of the way. Bam. All right, this is a uh, belt that my dad gave to me when he was in the Marines. Uh, he was like, hey, you can have this, because I don't really need it anymore. I don't got to use for it, but now you do. So, bam. You can have this. I was like, yeah, sweet. Uh, so I use this. Holds my pants up great. Holds my uh, uh, drop leg pretty well. Holds my jump pouch pretty well. Okay, out of the way. I don't know who makes that either. Probably pretty old, but still works. Okay, next this is a um, 
just it's just an Under Armour shirt that we got at McDill Air Force Base. <laughs> but I mean, it works great. So yeah, nothing really to say about it. A uh, little small, probably gonna get a different one that's bigger, but still fits great. It's Under Armour, pretty hot. Doesn't really match anything, so I'm wearing like three different camos, so it's pretty retarded. But I mean, it's still pretty cool. Uh, very lightweight, can like proper. So I wear this like by choice over any proper because one proper is very scratchy and, and heavy. And if I'm gonna wear that, then you have to wear an undershirt under it, and that's just more weight. I'm not a speed QB, but I do like speed. <laughs> that's why I run a Crytac. Um, I'd much rather be lighter and not match camo very well than match camo great and be very heavy and slow. Okay, next, my Rothko Jungle Boots. So these are very nice cheap boots. These are $50 on evic.com. Um, I'm sure you can get them for even cheaper on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. Hmm, sorry. Oh, throw any bar. Um, I have worn these for a couple months. Very nice boots, not steel toe, but they are still very nice boots and easy to break into for only 50 bucks. So if you're on a budget and you really need boots instead of sneakers, which I entirely recommend, these are amazing. Stop using sneakers at outdoor games. If you're wearing these for indoors, you're a crackhead, but for outdoors, these are amazing and you should definitely wear them. Okay, uh, next, my drop leg. So this is a Matrix holster licensed by Cytac. Holds the Elite Force 1911 very well. Uh, fits well. Uh, it's just a drop leg holster. Nothing really to say about it. But if you do have s small chicken legs like me, uh, you will have a bunch of leftover strap. So just be wary of that. Uh, usually what you do is you can tie them into like a little knot here. It's not as noticeable, but then you have to tighten them all the time. So it's not, just, you know, leave them hanging. It's less of a hassle. Oh, sorry. And uh, my dump pouch is at a different location. So, yeah. This is my kit as of 2020, and as of 2021, I hope it will be a lot hotter. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Uh, I can't wait to start uploading on this channel. I'm super excited. And, uh, oh, if you want something to my main channel, Mr. Chinese Cake, we're about to hit 50 subs. And we are, that's my main channel. That's my gaming channel. If you like Siege, if you like Minecraft, that's where it's at. If you like servers, that's where it's at. If you like hee hee funny 69420 jokes, that's where it's at. Right? I'll see you guys in the next one, and, uh, Thanks for stopping by. Oh, Merry Christmas. Uh, happy holidays. Love you all. Okay, see ya.